It's a chicken and egg problem. It's probably the mother of all chicken and egg problems. But your body has to solve all the problems all the time. If you if you mess up, you're dead. So this is a real problem for an embryo in the womb because it doesn't have all of its systems. So how is, how is it alive while it's developing its own systems? Well, it's relying on its mother to, to overcome these problems. So now you've got two individuals at, at different points in their life cycle that whose bodies are communicating with each other. So there's a causal hurdle. How do you get over that one? It's a chicken and egg problem. That's probably the mother of all chicken and egg problems. So the causal hurdle with an embryo and its mother is that they're communicating. They have, they have lots of structures that they share, like the, uh, the placenta actually grows out of the tissue of the two, and they're sharing chemical signals back and forth. And when it's time, when the baby is ready to be born, it signals the mother using chemical signals. So how can you build that gradually when you have to have it to have a next generation? I mean, there's, nobody has ever addressed a problem like that. So that's why we call that a causal hurdle. That's the only way to get over a causal hurdle of this kind is to build lots of stuff at the same time.